you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you should be doing with your coins and your team prior to the Mud Heroes promo dropping. Now, it was kind of already leaked by Crail yesterday. I shouldn't say leak, announced that there will be a special thing promo coming next Friday, if I heard correctly, which we all know, that's going to be Mutt Heroes. The only thing left that it could be, well, we already have our Mutt 10 coming next week. We have Mutt 10 today, obviously. There's nothing else. The only thing we have in line is Mutt Heroes and then October promo, but that October promo won't be until like mid-October. So unless they're starting the Halloween promo really early this year, it's going to be Mutt Heroes. They pretty much hinted at it multiple times this year. We've been expecting it. I will be dropping my Mutt Hero predictions today and my whole promo explanation going over today. So stay tuned for that. That will be dropping probably before this video even comes out. So if you're watching this, hopefully watch the other one already. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 150 likes. Make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, boys. We're grinding to 9K. And coming up next after that, 10K and so on and so forth. Thank you for all the support. And guys, if you haven't already, comment down below your predictions for Mutt Heroes. And whether or not you're excited for it now guys as you guys can see by looking at my team it's pretty obvious what i've been doing with my team and my coins i'm preparing for mud, uh, mud heroes like this i'm building my coin stack i'm getting ready for it because nothing is worse to me than going into a new promo with the full team right i know a lot of you guys can relate right so you go into the promo you have powered up marcus allen you have powered up deandre hopkins you have powered up let's say Richard Sherman, right? And you're happy. Your team looks awesome on paper. You have one of the best teams in Madden. The next day, Mud Heroes drops. They drop a Saquon Barkley and an Alvin Kamara running back. Now you don't want Marcus Allen anymore. Now you want one of those two. They drop a Julio Jones, Mud Heroes. Now you kind of don't want that DeAndre Hopkins anymore. Then they drop a Patrick Peterson, Mud Heroes. Now Sherman's not the best guy. So you're sitting there like, damn, this kind of sucks, you know? I really wish I didn't buy my players yet. Because now I want these new players. Because pretty much what you're doing in Ultimate Team is you're always trying to perfect the best team you can have at any given moment. So that is why I don't like to invest right before the end of a promo. Like right now, we're like right before the start, the start of a new promo. I'm waiting. So when Mutt Heroes comes out, I can get all the cards I want from it, put them on my team, and then wait for October promo. Or should I say the Halloween promo. So most people right now are telling me like they're building their teams and stuff. I mean, yeah, you can build your team. Prices are cheap. But for me, right, if you come over here to 91s, so they're still coming down, by the way. Jerry Rice is literally 180. You could buy Jerry Rice and power him up right now, but like in a week or whatever, when Mud Hero drops, he won't even be the a top five receiver anymore. Or you can go and get some of these Redux players, right? You can go get McCaffrey powered up. You can get Marcus Allen for cheap powered up. A lot of guys for cheap, but then in a literally a few weeks, or in a week, I should say, when Mud Hero drops, they're going to drop one player at almost every single position that's better than every other card. So in reality, all those players are going to be not as good. They're still going to be good. But if you guys know anything about new cards coming into a position that are better than the other cards, they usually make prices go down. Like if they um, if they drop a brand new Vic or like Lamar Jackson, they made the Steve Young go down. It draw it makes other players similar drug go down. It's so like if they drop the new fastest running back in the game, like a Barry Sanders, I promise you every single running back in the game loses value. Every single one. That's expensive at least. Because the point of a running back is to have a fast running back typically. So if they drop a speedy one, all the other ones go out the window as far as which one's the fastest now. So for me, I've started building my coin stack. I'm preparing for Mud Heroes. So in my predictions, obviously, I predicted a few guys that I'm hoping for, like a Tyree Kill, some new linemen, a Jalen Ramsey, and I'm prepared. So like some of those cards, some cards you don't have to always sell, right? So to go over to my team to give you guys some analysis on what I mean by that, there's some cards where like, you know you're sticking with. So now we're on my team. So guys like DeAndre Hopkins, right? I don't have to sell him because I know he's not going to be the best one because he's like he's a knack card, right? So don't 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 be, don't be bothered by your knack cards. George Kittle, knack power up. Don't be bothered by him. Jalen Ramsey, there's already better cornerbacks than him, but I like Ramsey and I know he's going to get a new card at some point, so I'm waiting for him. Donald, same thing. The cards I would sell are guys like Ken Houston, a guy that right now is one of the best guys, but he's already lost a lot of value. But a guy like Ken Houston, right? He was only valuable because he was one of the best strong safeties. Now people are getting Tillmans. We're going to get Mud Heroes. The October promo is going to keep dying. A guy I would sell potentially, although I don't want to because I like my line, would be Larry Allen and Bruce Matthews. Because obviously there's going to be better linemen. And they're legend cards. I really feel like legend cards, they don't retain value. Because when they come out, they're top of the line cards. But in literally weeks, they get overshadowed and they won't get an upgrade for a long time. 
So during this regular season, I typically like to compose my team of in-season players like Tyreek Hill, Lamar Jackson, um, George Kittle. I don't really like having players like Legends. See, Jason Kelsey already has two cards. Lamar Jackson has two cards. Marcus Allen only has one. The Legends Larry Allen, Bruce Matthews have one. But other cards have more than one. Like I said, Travis Kelsey has two. Kelsey has two. Lamar has two. Um, Saquon, Philip Lindsay, Philip Lindsay, that's a second. Saquon will probably get another soon. Like a lot of these modern cards already have two to three cards. Most likely two. When these legends like Bruce Matthews and Larry Allen might not get another card so easily. Unless to like a limited time in the October promo or the November promo. You might not see them till Christmas or Ultimate Legends again. So that is why for me, I use legends when they come out. But I don't like to stick with them on my team. So I'd be selling some of my legends soon, as a lot of people probably can see already, because the market is already going down. Now with your coins, I'd hold. I built my coin stack to two point, about 2.3 million. I'm gonna hold out to Mud Heroes. Hopefully they get us to give us a Saquon, a Kyle Fuller, a Jalen Ramsey, Xavier Howard, Shaq Mason, any of those guys I really want. So if they drop any of those guys, I'd be more than happy to go pick them up. Now what I recommend buying now, in terms of any card you might want, if there's a certain card that you know you want in your team all year, go ahead and buy it. But for me, I think it's about time to start building your team up now. The issue with building your team up now is you, my advice a few weeks ago was start building your coins up. At this point, prices are so low. I don't really think you could even validate. You, like you're losing a lot of coins here, but you can't just think that the market's down. This might be the new market with new promos coming. I don't think the market's gonna shoot up back up too much at any point, unless there's like an influx of coins. Some cards are up right now though. I'd recommend just building a coin stack for now. I now for Mud Heroes, I wouldn't use all my coins. I'd select two or three cards you really want, let's just say, and buy those cards one to two to three cards and then power those up keep your cards that you know like for me if they drop a saquon barkley i want them all year so i'll buy him i'm happy with that the solos might give us some tokens too it's almost got a free card you could probably walk away with two to three cards but i wouldn't stock up on this promo the biggest mistake you can ever do is stock up with every card from a promo because all you're setting yourself up is for you're setting yourself up for failure in the next month with another one comes out i'll get like two or three guys i like and then when the november promo comes out i'll keep the ones i really like like saquon let's just say and then, then I'll go, I'll go, I start going all in on my team around Christmas for my, for personally, because right around Christmas, you can start powering up players so heavily. Like right now, it's like, if you don't have the best guy at his position, you're going to feel the difference by Christmas with all the John Madden coaches and all the chems and all the, the abilities, the X factors, all the new cards there's, you can really just go all in then and start powering cards up to 96 to 95, 97. You can really go all in around then. Right now though, you can't just go all in on a team. Cause if you go all in, you're going to lose all your value in about a week. Especially because after the Christmas promo, there's not so many banger promos that really kill value. It's like playoffs, that's about it. The Easter and stuff comes so much later, it doesn't get irrelevant at that point. So, I wouldn't go all in on Mud Heroes. I would get a few cards you like. And then for the Thanksgiving promo, I go a little bit more all in. I really do like the Thanksgiving promo. Hopefully, I do. So, I'm hoping that either Mud Heroes or the Thanksgiving promo has like a ball set where you get back all the cards and that. I always love doing those collections. It usually only costs me like 300k to get like five Nat 90 overall players. I always love those collections. But we'll see with that. Guys, comment down below what your coin stacks are, and I'll give you guys some. Comment down below how many coins you have, and I'll comment back some advice I'd give to you with that coin stack. Obviously, with 3 million coins or plus, you can just chill and just wait it out. If you have 1 million coins, be selective of what you do. If you have less than that, 500,000, I would just hold no matter what. But again, comment down your situation below, what team you got down below, and I'll get to you on that. Now, as far as quick ways to get coins real quick before Mutt Heroes comes out, so you can be prepared for that. Again, level up, start leveling up, do your level up grind if you haven't done that already. Like I said, I gained a ton of coins leveling up from 50 to 60, a ton of coins. Use your power, passes accordingly, maybe save them if you really like, but I want to, I used mine on Lawrence Taylor, got back a quick 350k on that. Start doing, oh, and start building your trophy count. You can easily use your trophy count to exchange for currency, and for me, the way I'm doing this, the perfect way right now, I've been, oh, it's gone now though, but I've been playing house rules. Even after I got my 30 wins, I just kept playing. I'm getting easy, easy wins for this. I already have over 50 online wins easy wins for doing this and then on top of that i'm getting trophies from this right here this progression list and i was getting trophies from the house rule progression list obviously the house rules is gone now which kind of sucks that was like an easy way for me to gain wins because those games only last like a half at most but that's about it guys for the video remember mud heroes does come next friday most likely i will be dropping the prediction list that should be up already so once you're done with this video go click onto that one i did all 32 teams all my best predictions obviously some are subject to change so depending on what cards come out within the next week and uh hopefully we can come back to these videos in two weeks and really see how well i predicted and how well my advice worked out for most of you guys hopefully this helps you guys and if you're new to the channel make sure down below hit that subscribe button guys thank you for all the support as of recently turn on that noti bell you guys have been smashing the like button too let's get 200 likes 
I couldn't thank you guys enough for all the support as of late. It's been crazy. It's been crazy, guys. Even with Madden being kind of crap at the moment, it's been good still. All the support you guys give every day. And then hopefully with this new uh, the Mud Heroes promo and then, you know, the October promo and everything. Hopefully things start kicking up again. But guys, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoy your day. I have to go do a ton of work for school, so I will probably be busy the rest of the day. So if I get to your comments slowly, guys, that is why. But thank you for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.